Hello everyone and welcome to Mind Library, where we explore the fascinating world of the mind and its many intricacies. Today's topic is The Organized Mind, and we will be discussing the key takeaways from the book The Organized Mind, Thinking Straight in the Age of Information Overload by Daniel J. Leviton. The organized mind is not just about decluttering your workspace or tidying up your room. It's about understanding how the brain processes information and how to manage that information in a way that maximizes productivity, reduces stress, and enhances creativity. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. So, let's dive in and explore the fascinating insights from this book. 1. Information Overload the first chapter of the book delves into the concept of information overload and how it impacts our brain's ability to process information. Leviton argues that we live in an age of information overload, where we are bombarded with information from multiple sources, such as social media, email, text messages and news updates. This constant influx of information can be overwhelming and can lead to decision fatigue, which reduces our ability to make informed decisions. Leviton suggests that the key to managing information overload is to prioritize and focus on the most important information. One example of this is using the 80-20 rule, which states that 80% of the value comes from 20% of the input. By identifying the 20% of information that is most valuable and focusing on that, we can reduce the amount of information we need to process, which in turn reduces decision fatigue. Two. The Brain's Information Processing System In the second chapter, Leviton explores the brain's information processing system and how it works. He explains that the brain has limited processing power and that we can't multitask as efficiently as we think we can. He argues that the brain has two modes of operation, the Task Positive Network TPN, and the Task Negative Network TNN. The TPN is responsible for focused attention while the TNN is responsible for mind-wandering and creative thinking. Leviton suggests that we need to balance these two networks to maximize productivity and creativity. By taking breaks and allowing our minds to wander, we can activate the TNN, which can lead to new insights and creative solutions. 3. The Power of Checklists In Chapter 3, Leviton discusses the power of checklists and how they can help us manage our tasks more efficiently. He explains that checklists can reduce cognitive load by providing a clear and concise list of tasks to complete. Leviton suggests that we should use checklists for both routine and non-routine tasks. By automating routine tasks, we can free up mental resources to focus on more important tasks. Checklists can also help us avoid making mistakes and ensure that we don't forget anything important. 4. The Science of Decision Making the fourth chapter delves into the science of decision-making and how we can make better decisions. Leviton argues that we often make decisions based on emotions and biases, rather than logic and reason. He suggests that we can improve our decision-making by gathering more information, seeking out diverse perspectives, and considering the long-term consequences of our decisions. Leviton also suggests that we should avoid making decisions when we are tired or stressed, as these factors can impair our ability to make informed decisions. 5. Memory and Forgetting The chapter explores the concept of memory and forgetting. Leviton explains that the brain is not designed to remember everything, and that forgetting is a natural and important part of the memory process. He suggests that we can improve our memory by associating new information with existing knowledge, using mnemonic devices and spacing out learning over time. Leviton also suggests that we should prioritize what we want to remember and focus on the most important information. 6. Organizing your environment In Chapter 6, Leviton discusses how our physical environment can impact our productivity and organization, he suggests that we should organize our environment in a way that supports our goals and reduces distractions. This is creating a designated workspace that is free from clutter and distractions. Leviton also suggests that we should use storage solutions, such as filing cabinets and shelves, to keep our physical space organized. 7. Digital Organization In the seventh chapter, 
Leverton discusses digital organization and how we can manage our digital information more effectively. He suggests that we should use tools, such as folders, tags, and search functions, to keep our digital information organized and easily accessible. Leverton also suggests that we should take regular breaks from technology to reduce the mental clutter that can come from constant digital stimulation. By taking breaks and disconnecting from technology, we can give our brains a chance to recharge and process information more effectively. 8. Time Management In the 8th chapter, Leverton explores time management and how we can use our time more efficiently. He suggests that we should prioritize our tasks and focus on the most important ones first. Leverton also suggests that we should batch similar tasks together to reduce cognitive load and minimize the time it takes to switch between tasks. Additionally, he suggests that we should take breaks throughout the day to recharge and avoid burnout. 9. The Importance of Sleep The ninth chapter delves into the importance of sleep and how it impacts our productivity and organization. Leverton explains that sleep is essential for memory consolidation and that getting enough sleep can improve our cognitive function. He suggests that we should prioritize sleep and create a sleep-friendly environment, such as keeping our bedroom cool and dark. Leverton also suggests that we should avoid technology before bed, as the blue light from screens can interfere with our sleep. The organized mind provides valuable insights into how we can manage information overload and improve our productivity and creativity. By understanding how the brain processes information and using tools such as checklists, digital organization, and time management techniques, we can reduce stress and maximize our potential. Thank you for watching this video on the organized mind and learning about the importance of managing information, maintaining focus, and making better decisions. We hope that you found this information helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.